In John chapters 8 through 10, there is a lot of great and powerful stuff. You might recognize the quote, the truth shall set you free. It's found there in chapter 8. Or the story when Jesus heals a man who was born blind in chapter 9. But there is one illustration in John chapter 10 that spoke to me and brought me assurance, especially in times like this. Jesus begins by telling the Pharisees that the good shepherd goes before his sheep. He walks in front of them and they follow him. Why? Because they know his voice. Have you wondered why things might not be working out for you? Well, let me ask you this. Whose voice are you following? Jesus clearly states that his sheep by no means will follow a stranger. On the contrary, they run away from the stranger, for they do not know the voice of strangers. In our world today, in a culture with so many different voices, you should only be able to recognize one, one voice. The rest of the voices and influences should just be noisy clutter, unfamiliar and strange. When strange voices become familiar, the sheep begin to follow, and those voices lead the sheep astray. There is but one good shepherd, one voice worth knowing. What other people say about you is noisy clutter. You are following the good shepherd. How the world and culture judges you, it's relevant, just noise. You are following the good shepherd. Be careful which voices you begin to recognize because you'll end up following them. Only one voice is worth knowing, and that's the voice of the Good Shepherd. As the psalmist writes in Psalm 23, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. The Good Shepherd has a name, and we know what it is. Of course, the Pharisees did not understand Jesus as an illustration of the true shepherd because they did not know his voice. So Jesus has to tell them again, and he says, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Here we find Jesus' third and fourth I am pronouncements that depict him as the door of the sheep. Entering the door, that is, Jesus is our salvation, our life and provision. Just like a door allows us a way to our daily comings and goings, it also provides us with security and safety from the outside world. The fourth I am pronouncement declares Jesus to be the good shepherd who has legit concern for us, his sheep. Unlike other people or hirelings who, whose only interest is self-preservation, the outside voices will only use you and abuse you to get what they want and then just leave you. The wolf catches the sheep and then leaves her scattered. Have we followed the negative voice of a stranger? Has a hireling hurt you? Has the wolf come and scattered you? There is but one good shepherd who will leave the 99 safe to find the one that is lost. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I know my own and they know me. Jesus has laid down his life that you can be free, safe, and secure. Throughout the rest of this passage, keep in mind that Jesus is speaking these words to the Pharisees who were Jews. So when he says, I have other sheep which are not of this fold, he is referring to us, the Gentiles, people who are not Jewish. So they ask him, how long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. What Jesus says next is shocking. He says, I told you already, but you did not believe. I do miracles in my Father's name. These miracles show who I am, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give my sheep eternal life. They will never die and no one can take them out of my hand. 
My father is the one who gave them to me, and he is greater than all. No one can snatch my sheep out of my hand. And then he says, I and the father are one. The picture of God as shepherd in the Old Testament is fulfilled and completed in the person of Jesus Christ, who is presented here in John 10 as the redeeming good shepherd. He is also presented in Hebrews 13.20 as the resurrected great shepherd. He is presented in 1 Peter 5 and 4 as the returning chief shepherd. Jesus is coming back and he'll be calling out to his flock. Will you recognize his voice? Get a let go. I don't know what the future holds. My nightmares are having nightmares. I'm quite scared of what's right and fair. How I fear in eternity.